that thing about ad- the problems of adoption of technology, mm-hmm. and I blogged about or tweeted about this yesterday, I was walking away from a conference where a lot of communications folks had been saying, you know, we have a problem with adoption or our staff don't have access to technology because they're working out in the street or whatever. And on my way from that to my next meeting, I walked past some guys digging up the road and they're having a break and they're all standing there with their smartphones. (laughs) And I thought, well, actually, problems with adoption or people not having access to technology really these days just means they don't like our boring intranet and what we're doing with it. (laughs) They're having no problem adopting technology um, in the right circumstances with the right motivation and that you know yeah. and, and, I, and I think that goes back to the thing about schools you know if you're having to train people to use your technology you've bought the wrong tool frankly because um, nobody trains you to use the internet or Facebook or whatever else you know it's just it's, it's the onus is on the tool manufacturer to make it as useful and as easily assimilated as possible that's not generally the orientation of people in, in, in business systems um but there's almost an interest in making it as as obscure and difficult as possible, um, for all sorts of interesting reasons. But uh, but it's also ownership, isn't it? I mean, it's like the thing that we saw years ago that people who were guarded about saying on an internal system that they had a particular area of expertise, for instance, will happily spray it all over LinkedIn uh, without thinking about it. But it's then making judgments, sometimes subtle judgments, about who's going to do what with this information and what's in it for me and how much control do I have. And that, and again, that, I guess, suppose that's the shift, the two shifts. One is that it used to be that your best technology was available at work. That was where you had the better computers, where you had the faster networks. That's not been true for a long time, and it's really, really not true now. Um, but also it's the fact that the individuals increasingly are aware of their their control you know they have they have more control over things you know they're 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 realizing that the stability that an organization used to represent has has ceased to be the case that they have to build networks they have to connect they have to be seen to know what they know and be able to jump ship when they have to and find the next job um so i think that, that you know those two things the technology being better outside and more people being more savvy about the boot being on the other foot, if you like, um, is partly what's putting organisations under pressure. They're beginning to realise this. 